Hi everyone, welcome to the Fume tutorial. This is the first video, so I will show you a simple mapping from a custom data format to Fire. So this is the Fume Designer. I will just paste here a sample of my data. As you can see, it's a flat JSON with custom field names and it's information about a patient. So I will open the patient resource template. and I will start filling in the data. What you see here, this syntax is based on Fire shorthand, but the main difference is I can put field names here and not only static uh, fixed values. So for example, I will take the MRN field name and put it as the instance ID. This will become the logical ID for the resource. Next, I will take the status active that I have in the source and I want to transform it to a Boolean field for the active element. So I will just write the condition status active and since the condition is true, I'm getting active true. Next field is the social security number. So I will just take the field name and I'm going to put it in the identifier value. And I also need the URI for the social security numbers. So I can, of course, type it in if I know or have it available somewhere, but I can also just use an alias that I defined in advanced. So here we go. Next will be the first name which is going into name given and the last name which goes to family as you can see you don't need to worry about which element is a repeating element fume does it for you so the given name appears inside an array and the family is a single value the name itself is also an array and none of this is represented in the syntax of the flash script so you just need to fill in the field names and you don't need to worry about the definition underlying each element uh, i have a birth date here and i will put it in the birth date here I also have here a sex F, which is a local code for uh, the sex or the gender. Uh, in Fire, it is transformed into gender, and those are the only possible values for this field. So, since this is a very small value set, I can write it in conditions. So, I will just say if sex equals f then female and i get female i can of course uh, continue writing uh, the mapping for all the codes but for our example i think this is enough um, i have a city name which goes into address city and as you can see, again, the address is an array and the value of the city name is inside the city element. I'll take the state, go right here. Uh, what else? Okay, we have a street name and a house number. And in Fire, we only have lines. So I want to concatenate the street name with a space and I want to convert the house number to a string since as you can see it's a number here this is the function that converts anything to a string so this is the line uh, if I'm not mistaken the American standard is the reverse so I will do it like that
Yes. All right. I have a zip code here, which is the postal code in fire. And I have the left and long, which is a little bit more advanced because it requires an extension. So it will not uh, be in this video. But the phone is simple enough. Uh, it goes into telecom, into value, where since it's a phone, I will put the system phone and the use, maybe it will be home. So as you can see, I can also define fixed values for fields uh, in uh, addition to all of those dynamic fields. We also have a primary doctor with a full name and a license number. So we'll just take this basic information into general practitioner. We'll say that display is primary doctor. Dot full name. And we got that here. So as you can see, you can also have a path expression and not only element names. And let's take the license into the identifier. Okay, I forgot to put the to prefix it with a path. There we go. So this will be enough for the first video. As you can see, it's very easy to create valid fire resources. In the next videos, we will see some more complex um, conditions. Uh, we will dive into translating codes and, of course, using profiles. Thank you. See you next time.